In Tanzania, most women don't own land, but the main collateral in this country is land. So a micro lease allows a woman to finance business growth. In this way, even women without credit history can access financing. The life of a micro lease starts with a partner, a funder, someone who wants to help make a difference in the lives of others. It's because of them that we can work with so many women. We want to make sure these investments are fruitful. So on Mondays, prospective clients come for training. They learn business skills and the process of taking a lease. They write a proposal and they provide at least two guarantors. We meet with them in our office and in their homes. When the lease is approved, the asset is delivered and the potential of the business really explodes. With increased capacity, she makes small payments over a number of months, and at the end of the lease, we pass the ownership to her. For many women, this is the first time they get to own an asset in their own name. Once she owns it, she can leverage the asset as collateral for a traditional loan, or she can sell it back to us for liquid capital and continue to lease. From one very modest lease, she can create dozens of jobs. To begin, Justina leased 100 baby chicks. Today, she has more than 1,500 chickens producing eggs. She sells those eggs in the community and beyond. Justina is a savvy businesswoman and her whole family works for her. Women are so resourceful. From a handful of the most basic resource, they grow something really extraordinary. <laughs>